everybody, welcome back to Prissy Beauty. Today I'm here with a haul video for you, finally. I feel like I haven't done one of those in forever because I actually have not bought a lot of things this year so far. So I did a few things, I bought a few, a few things that I want to share with you. So I'm just going to jump right in because there's quite a few things that I only have 10 minutes left on my camera. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is a hairbrush. I needed a new one and I've seen people talking about and, and mentioning these guys, which I don't know the name. But um, there's a, a real brand by Go uh, a real uh, product by Goody or something like that, and I came across this one by Revive Beauty, and I bought this at Marshalls. I don't have the packaging anymore, but it was like four something. The normal one in the store that I've seen is like eight nine dollars, so this one was a little cheaper and bigger, and I thought it was pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. Um, let's see how how it goes. Next thing, still with hair, I've come across this product. It's a Purology Fresh Approach Dry Conditioner. I've never used a dry conditioner before and it's pretty interesting. I just sprayed on my hair right now and it really takes care of that, the frizziness on your hair and it makes it very, very soft. So this is kind of interesting. Um, I'm excited and it smells wonderful. So it's good to kind of fresh up your, your hair if you haven't washed it, you know. If your second day hair or something like that. Still along the hair stuff, I don't know why, but I decided to get a texture spray. This is sort of like the thing you use for like the, the beachy wave and the, the that type of hair. I still don't know how to use this exactly, but I'll figure it out. And it's it's interesting because it leaves your hair a little it gives you texture to your you know texture to your hair. But it's I the only thing I don't like is the fact that you can't kind of brush your hand through it like this. But I'm excited to just try something different, right? Maybe you have the beach day or something. I don't know. And then I also bought for hair um, this Redken Diamond Oil um, mask. I needed a new hair mask and I came across this one and I thought it smells very nice. I'm a big fan of good smells, so I decided to get this one and I need to get my hair deep conditioned. You know, I like to do it at home because it's more efficient and economical. So that's that. I think those are the products for hair. Um, yes. Then I got two products for like beach kind of thing. So it's two sunscreens by L'Oreal. This is the uh, Silk and Sheer. It's a mousse. I haven't used this yet and I'm, I'm interested because normally you see a spray. This is a mousse. So I want to see how easy it is to apply and why not. And it's SPF 50. And then I bought this from the same um, collection. I bought the uh, Silk and Sheer Face Lotion, just SPF 50, just a face SPF, and I like to have that for the beach. So these are my new SPFs. It's good to renew your sunscreen that you kept in your bag from last year, you know, for, for the summer. So it's nice to renew that stuff. So I did that. Then I finally gave in and I wanted to try that gel polish that doesn't require the light. And I must say, I have mixed feelings about gel polish because I did use uh, regular gel nail polish for a while and my nails just literally fell apart. They were like peeling, they were super weak. Now they're back to normal and feeling nice. So I'm almost almost uh, skeptical to try, but I want to try anyway. So I bought the L'Oreal kit. Um, it's the box that comes with step one and three. And this is not new, I don't think. Um, comes with step one and three. And then I bought two colors. This one is more like a summery color. This is the shade uh, Diamond and Buff. And then I got Bold Bordeaux, which is like a wine kind of shade. And I do like both. So I want to test this out and see how it is. Uh, apparently you can remove it with regular nail polish. So I hope it doesn't damage the nails as much as the gel nail polish ends up doing. Okay, next I have two mascaras. The Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express in classic black waterproof. Normally I buy waterproof mascaras because I prefer. And then I bought that uh, Voluminous uh, Miss Manga. The, I just thought the packaging was so cute and I've seen commercials for this so, so often on TV right now. This is not um, waterproof, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have those at home too for like tutorials where you want to apply something you don't want to be so hard to remove after all. So I bought that. And I bought this Andrea Two of a Kind shade uh, number 21 eyelashes. I need some new eyelashes because every time I do a tutorial I seem to use the same. So I ended up getting this. I normally go for the ones that are a little bit more natural looking. So this is that. 
I splurged a little bit and I bought two foundations. The one foundation I bought is the Giorgio Armani Maestro uh, Fusion Makeup. My shade is 4.5. That's the one that you have, a, a, what is it, a dropper. Uh, again, it's not a new product, but I, I was very interested about this foundation. I had seen multiple great reviews about it and I've used it a couple of times already and I really, really like it. And I also bought the uh, Lancome, uh, for, I looked it up on Google how to pronounce this, Taunt. Idol Ultra 24 makeup. My shade is in 220 buff. I've only applied this on my face like once or twice just to test it out. So, you know, ultimately you'll be seeing some sort of either first impression or review on all of these products anyway from me. But this is another foundation. I needed to buy new foundations to get rid of some old ones that I had when I first start getting into makeup and stuff. Cause you know, that's another kind of thing you don't want to have when it's old, you know, it's not good for your face. Then a product that I'm super excited about it, and you'll be seeing me talking about this very, very soon. It's the NYX Eyebrow Gel. Um, my shade is in Espresso. I am literally loving this, and I have it on today. Um, it's waterproof. This thing stays in place all day. It's a great match for my eye sh for my eyebrows um, right now. So I'm really, really excited about this. I don't have the Anastasia Dip Brow or Dip whatever that product is. And there's some other high end, higher end ones. I don't have any of those, but I've seen people comparing and saying that this is a potential dupe. For me, it's a great product. So I'll definitely be talking about it later for you on, on a video as well. Then I am a sucker for, for concealers and anything that has to do with dark circles. I came across this Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector Daily Eye Roller. So this is basically a BB cream for your eyes. Uh, same formulation, I'm pretty sure, as all that other, that other roller thing that they had back in the day. Uh, the only difference is this is coming in a tube versus a little pen. But, you know, I have it on actually today. It's a light coverage, but you know, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff, so I can't help my I can't help myself, you know. Last but not least, and it's probably as far as smell goes, it's my probably my favorite product out of all. It's the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Brazilian Nut. This thing smells like chocolate, and I'm not even kidding you. It's like it's like exfoliating your body with with chocolate, and I've used like once or twice, as you can tell. This thing is amazing. I've had the, uh, I've bought the Tree Hut uh, sugar scrubs before, and I bought this one because it's only sugar, doesn't have those little micro beads that are starting to get banned across the country now. This is only sugar, and it smells amazing. This does a great, great job being exfoliating your body when you're in the shower. So, I think this is all, and I'm trying to squeeze this as fast as I can so I don't run out of time on my memory card here. But if you have any questions about any of these products, please let me know. Uh, you will be seeing little first impressions and quick reviews on some of these products already coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks, thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.